I grew up with low self-esteem It was me and my mama Just us in the trauma Hands up if you know what I mean I see you, I feel you I want you to know that you're not alone I know what it's like not to have a home Like walking barefoot up a gravel road The pain gon' make you unstoppable Now audible Feel like I live in the end zone I'm the one leading the tribes a motorized slider is a pretty good tool for videography, but do you really need it? That's the question right there. I've got the newer VS80CC camera slider. Connects via RJ45. You know, there's a lot of letters and numbers out there. It's kind of like a calculus formula. But don't worry, I'm here to not give you some crap about the motorized slider. I'm just here to share my thoughts and what I think about having or owning a motorized slider in case you're thinking about getting one. And I am actually on a quest in order for me to finish updating, upgrading this office. And as you can see all around me, it's still, you know, messy and all magulo. So in order for me to fix that is I have to take everything down. And so I have space and room for me to paint this office black. Yes, technically this is episode three, but is that dirt on the lens? Yeah. Where is it? Oh. There. Boom. Clean. Clean background as well. <laughs> totally did not take me an hour to finish that. For you, blink of an eye. Video magic. You know, a motorized slider is a tool. Nothing more, nothing less. I mean, in some cases, it'd be great. In some cases, not really. You know, my opinion for a motorized slider is great for time lapse. You know, telling a story fast paced with action. I gotta do this thing real quick. <laughs> it's the, it's just too much of the brushing and I just gotta do something else. So. For a start, I just need to change oil on my car. Might as well have everything as new as possible. finish this up, shall we? Before anything else, I just needed to show you this real quick. There, all done, but I still got that wall left right there. I pretty much did a lot of the office already, but here, I'll take, I'll give you like a quick glance right now. I mean, it is still messy and everything else, but all of that walls were just one bucket. And I have that left right there. It is level. Nice. All right, it is December 31st. I did make a challenge to myself to actually finish this room before 2024. And I will do that. And I still got to tell you guys all about this slider. And I'll do that while this goes on. The slider is actually easy to operate. It's easy to control, but it is kind of difficult to set up. So every time I turn it on, I have to reset, set A, set B every time. And then I would have to uh, make sure that they are set correctly before I actually use it. And I have to adjust everything else in order for it to uh, work properly. And it's just, that's just one of the things about having this kind of slider is that it's always being set to whatever angle you want to whatever height you want it, however you want it to rotate and all that stuff. It's just a lot of preparations to get it set up. But then again, it's easy to control. Yeah.
The slider is massive. It is big to bring. Of course, it does come with a case for it if ever you do want to take it to places, but it's huge. It's going to take up a lot of your space and it's not that heavy. It's just a bit awkward to bring. So it's kind of like a carrying bag where you like, it looks like you're actually bringing a rifle, which is concerning too. But the thing is, would you actually want to bring this massive bag to shoot, but you actually have a gimbal? This is kind of like a, a win-win thing, like if you should bring it or not, because there are things where you have more tips and tricks on how to do time lapses and how to do use camera movements with gimbals that is very much similar to the slider. All right, I'm just a couple of hours in into the new year and I'm just about getting there, almost there. Probably talk about price points this time onto the slider if it's actually ever worth it. Because the slider that I have is 31 inches and it's long enough already. I mean, there are a bunch of longer sliders. I really don't think that you would need that long of a slider, to be honest, <laughs> really. So mine is 31 inches and that is around 292. So 290, 300, a slider and a gimbal are pretty much almost the same thing, almost. But they have their ups and downs between each one of them, but for one thing. Time-lapse is the best thing for the slider. It's either for the time-lapse or if you're a solo content creator at home. If you don't have any friends that can actually, you know, move the camera or pan it around automatically, that's a cool thing. You, just to have that, you know, those cinematic kind of shots. So a gimbal is actually around 400 plus, depending on what, um, what you're actually looking at. I have the uh, Xeon WeBill 3. I actually made a video of it somewhere here if you want to check that out. Fabulous gimbal, amazing gimbal. <clears throat> That is something that I would actually take outside, outdoors, for me to record or anything that I need stable shots with. But then again, if I'm just at home, yes and no, I would probably use a slider. One out of 10 times I would use a slider. I don't think it's actually worth it for anything that's $300 or more. But that's just me, of course. I mean, I'm a... Technically I am like a small YouTuber, small content creator. I mean, I used to do like weddings and all of that. And this is all just for, um, for hobby sake. I think I need to continue on because it is just a couple of hours away till new year. And I really do hope and wish that I get to finish this office. I think I will. I think I will. All right. <laughs> the office is officially Finished, officially done. Awesome. And I have pretty much one hour left to go till New Year. <laughs> oh, I can't believe, you know what I just realized too? I realized that I was wearing this same shirt, <laughs> the Mickey Mouse shirt, Disney shirt, when I announced that I was actually going to finish up actually doing, you know, upgrading this office about a month ago. It's crazy to think that, you know, once you challenge yourself to something, you pretty much put all of your heart and soul into it and you're actually gonna do it and you've actually done it. It feels amazing. 2023 is about to be up. The slider is pretty cool. <laughs> Can't believe I did a video about a slider for a, uh, a new year thing. So, I mean, I, it's take it on to your perspective on what you see on a slider uh, versus, you know, having additional tool because you know what I think is just an additional tool for you to use for some specific reasons so some specific cases and all that stuff it's all a protractor is a protractor a ruler is a ruler which is best to kind of like uh, one's good at one thing one isn't the other one is good at one thing so on and so forth I've <laughs> I've done a couple of shots here at the office try to see if ever I've used a slider or a gimbal.
2024 is coming up. So me having this kind of shirt on, I've heard that the lucky color now is green. So I must change to the color green. <laughs> yep. And all right, bye Mickey. See you in a bit. Okay, there you go. Much better. Green. Good luck. 2024. I wish you guys a happy new year and have a great rest of the year. Rest of the day. Be safe out there for them fireworks. Because I will do some fireworks. Just have to wait down the countdown. Yeah? See you out there. Happy New Year.